Let's talk about projection and identification. Projection is attributing feelings, thoughts, or personality traits to others. Sometimes we project our own feelings, thoughts, or personality traits. When one partner feels irritable, the other will likely be accused of being irritable or passive aggressive. If one partner feels guilty about a sexual attraction on TV, distrust of the other soon follows. Projections are based on how we feel about ourselves at the moment. If we feel good, our projections are positive. If we feel bad, they're not. Projections are inherently biased and never completely accurate. They often obscure more precise indicators of other people's thought and feeling states, such as tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language. We also project expectations of how others should behave. Most people would judge harshly someone who shouts or disrobes in a restaurant, movie theater, hotel lobby, or classroom. Unpredictable behavior raises anxiety. Projections are a way of predicting behavior and minimizing anxiety. The most troubling projections impugn the character of individuals and groups. Lazy, selfish, critical, immoral, dishonest, untrustworthy. Character projections are susceptible to projective identification. Projective identification occurs when people behave in accordance with the projections of others, and we all do that to some extent. For instance, some of your acquaintances might think you're very compassionate. Around them, you feel an urge to sympathize. With acquaintances who regard you as very intelligent, you try not to say anything dumb. You may have acquaintances who think you have a good sense of humor. Around those people, you have an impulse to make jokes. We get irritable when our partners say we're irritable and behave selfishly when they think we're selfish. Frequent criticism makes people feel incompetent and make mistakes. Children will likely act out projections such as bad boys and bad girls. They'll become the best bad boys and bad girls they know how to be. Projecting confidence onto children helps them gain confidence. Projecting distrust makes them sneaky. Criticism and defensiveness make loved ones resentful. Resentment makes them feel less lovable and behave less lovingly. We're likely to get more of the behavior we project, whether it's good or bad. So positive projective identification. Try this as a three week experiment. List three positive qualities you would like your partner to have. Examples are compassionate, helpful, friendly, affectionate, agreeable. Don't mention these qualities to your partner. Just assume or pretend that your partner has them. Look for evidence of these qualities and regard any contrary evidence as uncharacteristic. He's not himself or she's not herself. At the end of the three week experiment, you'll notice behavior more in tune with your positive projections.